Hi guys, we've got a quick video for you today. So we've got this annoying light on our dashboard. Press the brake pedal. Error. So we're going to show you how to replace the brake light on our 2014 VW Crafter. Right, so this is our rear brake light cluster. Yeah, and that is the bulb that is gone. But this will work if you need to replace any of these bulbs. So we've got one, two, three Torx 25 bolts that we need to remove. One, two, and that's three. So the torque's removed, we have to remove this. Now it does wobble, so we'll just have to push it that way and it will come out. So if you grab the whole thing and just, there you go. So that popped off. There's only one wire holding this onto the actual van. And that's this clip here. So you want to push the top and the bottom down and it should release. There you go. That's released. And now that can completely come off. So with that removed, we want to replace this bulb here, the second one down. So if we flip this over, this plastic cover is covering the bulbs. It's held on by these little plastic clips. We've got to pull them apart to pull this off. Let's pull it apart and then lift this bit up. Cool. All right, so that's removed. So we've got the indicator, the brake light, the reversing light, and then this is the fog light. So we want to replace this one. Now how these come out, you just twist anti-clockwise and they pop out like so. So with the old bulb removed we can get rid of this one and we can replace it with our new bulb. Now as you can see there the code is P21-5W. You want to be very careful because when you type in VW Crafter light bulb this one and this one pop up and the difference between them this one has a dual pin and this one has a single pin and as you can see from our connection in there we have a dual pin and also the light bulb we just pulled off has a dual pin so you'll want the dual pin one so i'll leave a link in the description below for the light bulb that you'll need so pull this out now as you can see there are grooved slots on the actual place where you put the bulb in and that is to accommodate these pins on the side of the bulb so you just put that pin in the groove there push down and turn clockwise and that's the bulb in. Put that back. Press that down. That all goes in and that can go back in. So now we can put it back together. We'll plug in the electrical cable like that. And then as you can see there is clips on the side and they have to go into these holes here. One there, one there and one at the top. So if you line that up just so they go into the holes and then just give it a push and you'll hear it click in and now we just have to do it at the torx bolts one two and three now let's go and see if that removed the annoying light on the dashboard all right let's head in all right so we just press the brake nothing Excellent. Alright, so I hope you found that video helpful. I'll leave the light bulb linked in the description below and we'll catch you next week.